Mentally, I haven't been this much of a mess in a long time. It's been, it's been a while. Um, I had to take an extra olanzapine. It's my psych med, um, also known as Zyprexa. And I have unwanted thoughts happen all the time. I mean, I could be talking to someone who's uh, just, just. I just want to bring up an example of something that might come up, right? I'm talking to someone they they seem like the nicest person possible, and what will, things that will go through my head are like, uh, oh, what what would this person do if if right when she said something really pleasant, she says the most pleasant thing possible, right at that point, I just. Just what if, what would she do if I just punched her right in the nose? What what would happen? And of course, I don't do anything. I'm, I'd never actually do it, but I think it. It goes through my head. It it entertains my mind for more than a couple seconds, right? You know, a whole whole bunch of other things, right? Uh, sometimes. J what would this person look like if they had a, a different color hair? What would they look like? If they were wearing this outfit or this outfit, uh, what, uh, then there's sexual thoughts that might go through my head or, or whatnot, you know, there, there's, there's just tons of things that could go through my head that are, that are just totally not related to what I, I would like to be focusing on, but there's my mind, all this stuff. It's hard to think clearly because my mind is always so cluttered with all this stuff. And the last thing that I need is some sort of ideology, whether it be from wokeness or whether it be from, you know, uh, biblical or Quranic religious stuff. Um, I, the, the last thing I need is is guilt over the things that I think. That's the last fucking thing I need. And uh, I, I've been struggling a lot this past year with the leftovers of guilt from the, the religious teachings. I'm really, really struggling with it. And sometimes I've stepped into the, the, the wokeness side and man, it, it's, it's just as nasty, except it's, it's worse because there is no path to redemption unless you just completely squeaky clean all of your thoughts somehow. And that's certainly never going to happen. So... I just have to learn to abandon all of that zealotry, all of that ideological dogma. Just abandon all of it. Uh, why do I? Why do I seek approval of some of, from some of the people that I do? You know, I've, 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 I've seeked approval of, uh, of some religious types that don't like me, and I've seeked the approval of, uh, of some uh, woke type of people that, that wouldn't like me. And, and, I, and I, I don't know why I seek their approval. Why? I, I suppose there's this hope that, uh, 
you know, maybe this time they'll, they'll, they'll react differently and it won't be, it won't be such a pile of negativity, but it, it, it's, never happens. So it's always the same. So isn't it insanity to, to keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result? I don't know. I wish the people who pushed the this this woke ideological dogma I, I wish you realized that's what you're doing. I wish so many of you realized that's what you're doing. I wish so many of you realized that you're pushing this idea that uh, of thought police, this idea that people should feel bad for things that they think. I wish you realized just how awful it is, how awful of a thing it is to do to someone. I mean, if you have that guilt, fine, but to, to wish that on someone else? I mean, I shouldn't say you have that guilt, fine. I'm just saying that uh, just because you have that guilt doesn't mean that everyone else should feel that guilt, too. You know? So... Well, I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching.